Winona Ryder's career began as the it girl of the late 80s and 90s and currently has her back at A-list status with Stranger Things. But it's the things that almost happened in between that are the most strange. I myself am strange and unusual. When director Tim Burton was casting his quirky comedy Beetlejuice, several Hollywood starlets passed on playing Lydia, including Jennifer Conley, Sarah Jessica Parker, Lori Loughlin, Diane Lane, Brooke Shields, Justine Bateman, Molly Ringwald, and Juliette Lewis, who was closest to being cast. However, Winona won over Burton with her debut in Lucas and beat out Alyssa Milano to land the role and launch a long working relationship with the director. Maybe you can relax in a haunted house, but I can't. Before Beetlejuice hit theaters, Ryder was still fighting for roles and went hard after Heathers, despite her agent telling her it would ruin her career. After Ryder sensed her first audition failed to leave a lasting impression and hearing that Jennifer Conley was the first choice for Veronica, she hurried to the mall for a makeover and returned for a second read. She also offered to star in the movie for free if she got the part. The tactics worked, and between Heathers and Beetlejuice, Ryder was a bona fide star by 1989. If you were happy every day of your life, you wouldn't be a human being, you'd be a game show host. She was soon cast as Mary Corleone in The Godfather Part 3, but had to bail out after suffering exhaustion while filming Mermaids prior, leaving the role to be notoriously filled by director Francis Ford Coppola's daughter, Sofia Coppola. No, Dad! Ryder then turned down the role in Steel Magnolias that eventually earned an Oscar nomination for Julia Roberts, launching a long list of parts she's passed on that includes Jennifer Aniston's in The Object of My Affection, Julia Ormond's in Sabrina, and another Julia Roberts role in Conspiracy Theory. Winona even said no to working with Burton again on Sleepy Hollow, possibly because her ex-boyfriend Johnny Depp was already cast in the adventure, which instead co-starred Christina Ricci. This is not about him, this is about me, okay? Other memorable roles Ryder was considered for over the years include Renee Zellweger's in Jerry Maguire, Helena Bonham Carter's in Fight Club, Kate Hudson's in Almost Famous, Gwyneth Paltrow's in Shakespeare in Love, and Charlize Theron's in Snow White and the Huntsman. That's why I'm stronger than you. Ryder has said she lost several movies she auditioned for earlier in her career to Martha Plimpton, including Running on Empty and The Mosquito Coast. And she's not been shy about other roles she's read for. Those unsuccessful auditions include Kate Winslet's role in Titanic, Bridget Fonda's in Point of No Return, Catherine Zeta-Jones's in Chicago, Cameron Diaz's in Gangs of New York, and Jennifer Jason Lee's in the Coen Brothers' The Hudsucker Proxy, which Ryder called a huge disappointment. Lick it up, baby. Lick it up. Regardless, Ryder has pulled off an impressive three-decade run, including Oscar nominations for Little Women and The Age of Innocence, a Golden Globe win for the latter, and two more Globe noms, including one for Stranger Things. Speaking of, the creepy drama returns to Netflix this summer. Will! 